Um, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Mm -hmm, girl, I finally get my hair did. It was one full year I waited. So yeah, got my natural kind of hair color back using extensions. Shh. So I wanted to quickly come at you guys with a little mini life update, but mostly I wanted to chit chat to you about like essentials I've been bringing to the gym with me to help you out in case you're somebody who's thinking about going to the gym soon, if your gym's just reopened, that kind of thing. Especially with all the New Year's resolutions, Gymshark 66, all that good stuff. I know a lot of you are thinking about going to the gym, but you probably have a lot of hesitation and believe me, I totally get it. I am there with you. So I wanted to share with you guys today what I personally bring COVID related to the gym, just little tips and tricks to help you along the way to kind of settle the soul a little bit, right? Break the ice, the barrier into going into the new year with a little more confidence. We will not let COVID rule us no more, okay? But by all means, if you're somebody who's not ready to go to the gym, don't feel like you have to. Absolutely go when you're ready and when you're safe. All right guys, so let's hop into this video. But first, if you're not already, definitely hit that subscribe button and follow your girl on IG for all Ting's fitness because together we got this. All right guys, so before we get into like the whole meat of this video, I wanted to touch base on kind of like a life update or should I say more of a channel update? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna go with. So if you guys have been following me for a while, you would already know that I live from my Gymshark reviews. I love talking about them, obviously. Um, but the entire year of doing that, I always had in the back of my head that I wanted to get around to doing other types of content. More vlogging, more food, workouts, you know, that kind of thing. Kind of keep it more well-rounded as all things fitness. And for those who happen to not know, I actually am a NASM certified personal trainer. Believe it or not, I never ever talk about it, but I do have a true, true love for fitness. I absolutely love talking fitness, workouts, just healthy living in general. So I have so much to give to you, baby. I wanna kinda share with you guys a little more of me and Bay. A lot of you guys ask questions about us, what we do outside of talking about Gymshark. So I wanna share with you guys a little more of our personal life, what we do on a daily basis, how we stay fit and healthy and you know just kind of more inspiring content for you guys especially with the new year coming you know baby we gotta spice things up a little bit so, so with that being said you guys definitely comment down below if you happen to want to see something in particular from me comment down below because i'm getting around to everybody i want to give you guys what you want to see so do not get it twisted for a second you will always be seeing gymshark from me like no matter what any new releases you will be getting reviews hauls it makes my heart beat so we just wanted to add a little more substance to this channel so i will be integrating that throughout okay with the gymshark video so guys, it wasn't until this past September that Bay and I took the leap to pretty much go back to the gym like full time-ish. Okay, I've been slacking these past few months, but do not judge me, girl. It's freaking Christmas time, okay? So with that being said, we have a couple of months of experience to know what we should be bringing. So let's start with the most basic thing on the planet right now. <laughs> Too obvious, but... So you wanna bring yourself a freaking hand sanitizer, girl. I mean, come on. I just wanna make note that Bath & Body Works, have you seen their little baby like sanitizer holders? This is perfect to latch onto your gym bag, okay? It just like pops right on. You can bring it with you. A lot of gyms have sanitizer already, but I don't know. Other people are touching that freaking sanitizer. Like, does that make sense? So we got the little baby bag. I got this for Christmas, but I have more where that came from. I kind of collect them like Pokemon. Got a little baby sanitizer. I also like to have this little keychain on so that you don't put the sanitizer in your bag. God forbid, it opens on up, your shiz is sanitized. Which isn't horrible, but you don't want that mess. Nobody's got time for that. I love hooking this baby on. It's right there. You don't have to go search in your gym bag because you need to keep that sanitizer on hand. What flavor is it? <laughs> the flavor. This one's actually in the scent winter. Oh Lord, yeah. So obviously another thing is a face mask, duh. But I have a lot of problems with face masks because they like keep falling freaking down. Like, I don't know, maybe it's, I have a small little skull or something, but they kind of droop down when I'm in mid set and then people just kind of like glance at me. My bad y'all. So um, actually Gymshark just rolled out with face masks. I gotta admit, I love them because they have a nice little draw cord on the sides, on both sides. You have two little like plastic -y prong things here, so you can easily adjust it. You just pull the little plastic knob baby thing, I don't even know what you would call these, 
and it just tightens up around your face. They come in two sizes, small and large, each a two pack. Bay got the large, he loves it, right Bay? Right Bay. And I got the small. I also love that there's a little bendable bridge in here, so you can kind of conform it to your nose, okay? Everybody's nose is different, so you gotta make sure that you don't get nobody's toxins coming up in your mask. So this baby just kind of form fits. And I'm sorry, I kind of feel badass wearing this. This is the way of the future, guys. Okay, even when COVID's gone, I'm still gonna be, you know, cautious, you gotta be. Another amazing addition to the gym, I need to stay hydrated, it's super healthy. Keep that hydration going when you sweating it out, girl. But I actually tossed my old water bottles because they were just like the kind of the screw on ones. You don't wanna to be touching tops of waters where you're gonna put your mouth, especially when you're sitting here using machines and getting grimy. Totally, totally stole this water bottle from Whitney Simmons. I saw her drinking out of this baby in her recent YouTube videos. She never spoke about it that I know about, but I did my research and I searched online. I like typed in long modern black water bottle with straw. And would you believe it came right up from target.com. So sometimes you gotta do your own little research. Thanks Whit. I love having a straw because you can easily put it underneath your face mask. I think we need to demonstrate that, don't we? This way you do not have to pull off your face mask to take a swig of water, okay? You just kind of go like this. Ta-da! <laughs> you're not touching your face, you're not adjusting your mask. Pop and drink. Woo. This particular one, it's from the brand, I don't even know what it is, SLM. And I'll have it linked down below. It has like the tin liner, so I add ice in it and it keeps it cold for hours, dude. You could keep it hot stuff in here too, but I'm going to the gym, I ain't drinking nothing hot. Okay guys, so this one's actually huge to me. Bay is a real advocate of wearing gloves. We love wearing gloves to the gym. These ones are Under Armour. You can get any type of fitness oriented glove. These are meant to just be flexible at the gym. I used to wear the ones with the cutoff fingertips but you want to get full gloves obviously so these are great so you're not physically touching anything with your hands if you accidentally need to like take your mask off or scratch your face like i always need to scratch my face just in general to not physically touch the equipment that other people have been touching or especially things that harbor a lot of bacteria like the rope when you're doing tricep pull downs like you do not want to touch that freaking rope that's the last thing in the gym you want to touch Believe me. Originally, Bay and I were going to like go ahead and get our own attachments to bring for the cable machine, but we decided this way is a lot easier. This way you don't have to sit here and grab attachments out of your bag. You just have the really nice gloves that will keep your hands protected. Then when you're done, just swoop them right off, throw them in the wash kind of deal. This is a very important one here. Actually, this was Bay's idea. I didn't even know these existed, but we have been loving these little like phone wipes specifically made for your phone. Got them off of Amazon, very inexpensive. Look at this big box. Look how many we have. Oh, whoa, it's gonna rip on me. <laughs> Dang. So it's from the brand Care Touch and they're pre-moistened alcohol based so it will kill germs. They aren't highly saturated with the alcohol so it's ever so slightly there where it's not gonna damage your phone, okay? Since it is technology, you gotta be very gentle but it makes sense because you're always touching your freaking phone, you're putting it on a bench, you know, you, you get done with dumbbells and then you go grab your phone to change a song. Nasty! We bring this into the gym bag with us, like we just pop them in there. Even on the box, it says it's really good for any type of tech screen. So iPads, computers, cell phones, lenses, camera lenses, and glasses. So do not use a heavily saturated alcohol wipe because it might mess your shit up, girl. All right, lastly guys, the very last thing that I would suggest bringing is your very own yoga mat. Not necessarily to do yoga, but in case you wanna do ab exercises, I don't know about you guys, but my gym actually stopped carrying them all together. They got rid of that. They said, bye Felicia. I don't blame them because you want to talk about harboring bacteria, that's what a yoga mat will do. It's very porous. Now you're going to have people sweat all up on that mat, no matter how much you sanitize it beforehand. Mm, that's nasty. So um, I've been using my own yoga mat, bringing it. Uh, the Gymshark Lifestyle Hold All has been really awesome because it has a little slot in the front here. If you saw this in my active favorites, where you can slip the yoga mat inside. So, um, 
bring your own yoga mat for real you will not regret it so guys that is it those are just my personal little recommendations slash suggestions of what to bring if you are considering going back to the gym and want to play it safe as safe as can be by all means if you are not ready to go to the gym do not feel obligated no matter what you see on instagram <laughs> it is all all good you don't have to go lifting heavy right now focus on what's best for you what's best for your family okay all right guys so i hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful stay tuned because we have a lot of fun content coming your way new year baby i'm so 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 excited oh it's gonna be a good one 2021 we got this baby because you know why because together we got this you're not alone thank you all so much for watching and i'll catch you in my next video